Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020from.com. So on a day like this where you were very busy, just like I have been, I've been so busy today, I've been jumping from one task to another, and uh, you don't have time to make yourself any breakfast, and it's afternoon already, so what can you eat? Well, you're gonna have to have what we call brunch, which is a combination of breakfast and lunch. So what will make a nice meal for brunch? Well, that will be a muesli. A muesli will make a very nice brunch meal. And um, how do you get your muesli then? Well, uh, you can go to the supermarket and pick up uh, the some of the brands from the supermarket. So for instance, this is the Alpen brand of the muesli. The problem with this solution though is that these ones, they contain too much sugar for our liking. Okay, so for instance, this one here has got 21 grams of sugar in 100 grams of this Alpen muesli. And here is my supermarket brand. And this one has got 22.4 grams of sugar in it. So these are not the type of muesli we want. For those of us who are watching our sugar intake, these are not the type of muesli we want. So what's the solution then if we cannot have those ones? Well, you make your own muesli. Now, if you think making muesli is difficult, well, think again, because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put your muesli together without any force. Quick announcement, just to let you know that a new video has been published in my second channel. Uh, the link to that video is gonna be right below this very video, in the very first comment, right below this video. So when you finish watching this video, please go ahead and watch uh, the latest video on my second channel. Now, let's continue. Okay, this is Dr. Joe's muesli recipe. And uh, all you just need to do is uh, tag onto it and uh, you can put your muesli together very easily. Now, what we're gonna do here now is a batch uh, preparation of our muesli. So that way, all you need to do is store it in containers like this. Here's one that I made three days ago. And uh, once you have it in a container like this, when you need it, just pour it out into your uh, your plate, add milk, and you're good to go. That's it, okay? Uh, so that's how uh, you make your muesli. And uh, I'm just gonna show you this recipe now because uh, you're gonna love this. So how do you go about making uh, this muesli? Well, this is Dr. Joe's recipe, and usually I make things very easy for you guys. So this my muesli recipe, this is how it goes. Now, for a start, every muesli needs a base, okay? So the base we're gonna use here is rolled oats, okay? Rolled oats. So what I have in here are three coffee mug full of rolled oats. Uh, here's the coffee mug, okay? This is the third cup. So you need three coffee mug full of uh, these uh, rolled oats. So I'm just gonna add the rolled oats now, okay? So that is cup number three, all right? So that's it there, rolled oats. What else do we need? Well, we need to have some almond flakes in it, okay? So these are almond flakes. We are gonna be adding about six tablespoon full of the almond flakes. Okay, that's two, three, four, five, and six. So that's almond flakes, okay? That's ingredient number two that's gone in. What else do we need? Pumpkin seeds, okay? Every muesli needs nuts and seeds. So in this instance here, we're gonna be using pumpkin seeds. So we're gonna have six as well, okay? Tablespoon full of the pumpkin seeds, two, three, four, five, six. Well, for good measure, let's add a seventh one, okay? Uh, so that's pumpkin seeds gone in. That's ingredient number three, okay? So we have in here rolled oats, almond flakes, pumpkin seeds. What else do we need? Well, we're gonna add some milled flax seeds, okay? So, uh, like I always say, if you don't have the milled flax seeds, you can mill it yourself. All you need to do is 
dry blend your flax seeds and you end up with uh, the milled flax seeds. So uh, here we're gonna have five, okay? That's one, two, three, four, five, okay? Five tablespoonful of the flax seeds that's gone in. So what else are we gonna add? Well, we are gonna be adding some nuts, okay? Every muesli needs nuts and seeds, okay? We've added pumpkin seeds. So uh, my supermarket has uh, done a good job here. They've given me mixed nuts. So you can add any type of nuts that you, you, you like, okay? And uh, add as much nuts or as little as you like. There are no boundaries in terms of how much nuts you can add to your muesli, okay? If you like nuts a lot, add them, okay? So in here now I'm gonna add about four handfuls of the nuts, okay? That's it, so these are mixed nuts. We've got almonds there, we've got peanuts, uh, we've got some cashew nuts, what else is there? I think that's, yeah, that's, that's what we've got there. Okay, so we've added our nuts. What else? Well, we're nearing the end of it. Uh, you can now add your sweeteners, okay? In the sense that, uh, not sweeteners as you know it, but, you know, things like dates. All right, so in fact, the only work involved in making uh, this muesli is the fact that you need to chop your dates. I've got about two handfuls and half of uh, stoned dates, okay? But what I've done now is chop them up, okay? Chop them to pieces. So if there's any work involved in putting this muesli together, it's just the fact that you need to chop the dates uh, into fine bits. So uh, we just add them, okay? The dates will represent our sweetener or sweetener number one because we have a second sweetener and that is this one here and uh, it is coconut flakes okay so do not hold back on the dates and the coconut flakes because they constitute the sweetener that you need all right and it's all natural so in here i've got about four handfuls of the uh, coconut flakes okay so we, you're just going to add them and uh, that they will constitute our sweetener for us. That's it. The muesli is ready, guys. Okay, it is ready. So all you need to do is just mix it up. Uh, if there's any other work involved, the fact that you need to just mix it up thoroughly, uh, such that uh, you have a very fine mixture of uh, the muesli, and is also rich in color. So, so this is it, guys. This is the muesli, okay? Already put together. So once the muesli is ready, what do you do? Well, you just apportion it into uh, different containers, uh, as you can see here. So I've added some into uh, a Tupperware container here, just like I did uh, with this one uh, three days ago. I'm gonna add some more now into this uh, container. Um, so you do that, and uh, uh, when you're ready to uh, use it, uh, you just pour into uh, a plate like this, and uh, uh, you add milk, okay? I still got some here that uh, I'm gonna uh, distribute into other containers. But as you can see, I got some already in here. So uh, you just pour it into a container like this and uh, add milk. And that's it, folks. Add milk. So this is plant-based milk. Uh, I'm using oat milk here. You can use almond milk, rice milk, uh, cashew nut milk, it doesn't matter. Any plant-based milk that uh, suits your fancy, go ahead and have that. So this is it, okay? So before we try this out, another thing you can do is you can just have it uh, as a dry snack, like I said, you know, you just put it into your mouth. So there you go, you can have it as a dry snack, okay? Or on a regular basis, uh, just add milk and uh, let's uh, go ahead and try it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
The taste is gorgeous, seriously. So here's the thing. The trick to getting it right is you need to add enough dates. By the way, if dates not available where you live, uh, you can use raisins, okay? If you don't have dates, you can use raisins as a substitute. But I tell you what, when you get it right, this is really great. It's, the taste is just really awesome. For me, it is sweet enough because the dates and the coconut flakes, they provide enough sugar uh, and that's all the flavor I need. Now, if you have a sweeter tooth than mine, then of course, uh, it's up to you. You can still add any healthy sweetener and uh, that, that's, that's okay too. But uh, even without any additional sweetener, I'm okay with this. But it all depends on your taste. Uh, so, this is how you put a muesli together, okay? This is Dr. Joe's uh, muesli recipe. You have to try it out, please. Because instead of going to pick up these, which I've loaded with sugar, no, make your own muesli, and I've just shown you how to put your muesli together. Uh, essentially, it's just an assembly of fine ingredients, and that's it, okay? There's no cooking required. Awesome. Another quick reminder, just to let you know that a new video has been published to my second channel. The link is going to be right below this video. So please go ahead and watch that latest video when you're done with this very video. So hopefully you got some value from uh, this video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video and also please share this video with your friends, with your family and with your colleagues. And uh, if you got any comments regarding this uh, muesli recipe, please leave your comments down below as well. Uh, try it out and let me know uh, what you think, okay? Uh, I think that's it until next time. Well, this is Dr. Joe signing out and it's time for me to finish up with my brunch. Yes. Mm.